Egypt is continuing a multi-billion dollar overhaul of its outdated railway system. The projects so far have helped to increase the number of passengers from 700,000 per day in 2014 to 1.1 million in 2021, with the target is to reach 2 million passengers per day in 2030. There are many new projects being developed lately, ranging from extending the railway line distances or what is called light railway, like the monorail in New Cairo and Sheikh Zayed cities. We are also working on the high-speed electric train that will link the Red Sea with the Mediterranean. The plan aims to increase the railway lines to link the south to the north and the west to the east in order to strengthen Egypt's position as an international logistical axis. The country's first monorail and first high-speed electric train are part of the strategy to increase dependence on clean energy. It reduces costs to a great extent. It cuts emissions to zero emissions in the case of hydrogen for trains and cars. Clean energy is more abundant in our areas through solar and wind energy. Besides the predominant electric engines in public transportation, the government has now gone a step further by planning to power its railway with green hydrogen. Egypt has a very potential, uh, uh, a lot of potentiality uh, in uh, producing hydrogen. We have started already producing hydrogen. There is a lot of, of, uh, of projects in the pipeline. Uh, we have offers of about $41 billion dollars from uh, international companies to start hydrogen uh, project. It has no carbon. It burns, it gives three times thermal energy uh, compared to the fossil fuel, and it has no carbon, so there is no carbon released during the operation. Experts say hydrogen is also more feasible in the long term. Well, until now, worldwide, uh, hydrogen, green hydrogen, still has, has problems. It's there, it's in early phases. We're talking about an industry up for the future. I mean, we're talking maybe that our sons will be on and daughters will be the one that will be living in a hydrogen and a green hydrogen society. It is, as you mentioned, it is expensive. And the infrastructure is expensive. So, I mean, there are uh, 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 uses but we haven't exhausted yet. I mean, there is a lot of go research going on, guys, and this is going to be one of the sources of energy in the future. The North African country, which will host the COP27 summit at the end of the year, is focusing on transforming most of its energy production and electricity output in all sectors, from fossil fuels to renewable energy, in line with its Vision 2030 goals. Yasser Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.